We love the Monday blues here on Living It Away. In fact, Blue Note Hawaii was one of the first venues to welcome back artists to the stage since the stay at home order began. And they have great shows. This weekend, they're getting ready to welcome back a star studded lineup, which includes our next guest. <laughs> And here to tell us all about his exciting performance that you guys can all see this weekend at the Blue Note, we have Dwight Kanai. Dwight, good morning. How are you, man? I'm fine, Mikey. Good morning, and thank you for having me. You know, we are super excited to hear about your performance that you will be having this weekend with a whole bunch of artists, and we're going to get into that in just a little bit. But let's start off with your music background. We all want to know, how did you get started in the music industry? Well, I come from a big musical family, so uh, music was always in the family. Always, when I was born, my mom was a featured singer. My, I have a big musical family, you know, very large family and a lot of uh, musical talent. So it was natural that, you know, I picked it up. Your journey includes playing with some legendary musicians in Hawaii. Could you tell all of our viewers out there who you've played with? You know, when I was 17 years old, I shared the stage with Gabby Pahinoe, George Helm, Jerry Kaluhiva, Soyu Kaluhiva, Don Kelihi Ho'omalu. Then I've, all, I've also played with the likes of uh, Malani Pilyu and, and uh, Moke Ale, and uh, Del Beasley, David Kahiapo. When I got to play with Gabby and George Helm, it was, uh, career-changing uh, moment for me. The decision to go from rock and roll to Hawaiian was made at that concert. You are coming together with a whole bunch of artists this weekend. Tell us about the artist to artist concert that you have going on with Henry Kapono at the Blue Note Hawaii. Yes, I am, you know, very, I feel very fortunate and blessed to have this opportunity. And I thank Henry Kapono and uh, um, Henry Capono Foundation for this opportunity. And it's coming up um, April 8th. I am the opening act. And I have a special guest joining me who's going to help me play one song in honor of my friend Malani Bilyeu. I cannot tell you who it is, but you know, a hint is that she's full of love and honesty. Now, before we actually get a little preview of what we can expect this weekend, let's bring this back to Blue Note Hawaii because they have been supporting musicians for a long time and they are actually probably one of the first venues to bring everything back to normal. Um, and I know you've performed at Blue Note Hawaii in the past. What are some of your most fond memories playing there? The warmth, the aloha received from them. Everyone, so much aloha willing to work with you whatever you want you know you ask for and they'll provide it for you and to top it off i got the chance to play with brother nolan conjugation you know one of the one of the legends one of the living treasures of our hawaiian music industry and you know you couldn't get better than that it is the Henry Capono's Artist to Artist concert happening this weekend only at Blue Note Hawaii. Um, you guys can get more information at bluenotehawaii.com and make sure you guys follow them on Instagram at Blue Note Hawaii. Now, Dwight, since I have you here and I see that beautiful guitar in your hands, I'm going to ask you, <laughs> if you can do all of our Living 808 family a favor. Could you give us a preview of what we can expect this weekend? Okay, okay, I will. Um, you know, I failed to mention one of my mentors and uh, and that's a very dear friend of mine peter moon was more than a friend he was like a father figure a brother i never had that i always wanted this song um just do a little bit of this song it was the last song peter and i had worked on world has made you sad 
some people can be bad. Things they do and things they say. But baby, I'll dry away those bitter tears. I'll wipe away those restless fears that turn your blue skies into gray. Why worry? There should be laughter after pain. There should be sunshine after rain. These things have always been the same. Why worry now? Why worry now? 